Game started. Norwegian Knight from the Czech Republic. Oh, that's cool. Let's see, I think it's time to play um, E4. E4, C6. So that's the uh, Karo Khan. Let's uh, play the advanced variation. <clears throat> Been playing the Pan of Botvinnik attack lately, but uh, this is um, the way I used to play it, and this is a fine a fine system as well as the short system where you just uh, develop your pieces. Makes sense, huh? And black is trying to save the bishop, so developed a, uh, created a escape square for the bishop here. And um, I wonder if I can get in c4 in this position. I mean, sometimes you just play c3. Try and hold the center, and, and black tries to break with c5. You may even be planning c5 the next move. But this looks like one of those positions I can get in c4 first, because he, he did, it was a little bit slow. He, he took an extra move here to play um, h6, which they don't always play. So let's try it. If he takes, I take back with the bishop. Seems fine. He's not getting pressure on d4 immediately. If he pushes, that will lead to some interesting positions I can take, and um, he didn't do either. <clears throat> so <laughs> this is uh, one of those positions where you can try and kind of squish your opponent by just blanketing the center. Okay, yeah, and he immediately breaks. That makes sense. Can I arrange to take back with a piece there? Not just yet. So I'll have to take. But I'm hoping to leave a weak, a weak pawn on c6. Maybe, you know, maybe he's just going to play c5 immediately. Here, let's, let's get my pieces developed. My d pawn can be defended by the knight, the bishop, and the queen. So it should be pretty solid. He's not threatening to come into um, c2 just yet. He's got the bishop there, but he doesn't have a knight coming in. <clears throat> okay, so now he's blocked his bishop. So if I were to play a move like um, h3, <laughs> it's kind of threatening to, uh, well, force a trade with g4. There, knight takes pawn takes. I don't know if that's so effective. This knight might go here. Let's keep developing for the moment. Also, defending the rook. I'm going to play um, a3 next and then rook to c1. See if I can get that pressure on the c file. So I need to get the bishop out of the way. Do I really need a3? I mean, bishop here is not a pin. Maybe rook c1 immediately. And I guess he's just going to castle. I guess I need a3 before I can move the knight, so I'll probably be playing a3 anyway. Yeah, and he castled. So our setups are complete. I have a little more space. Um, this bishop is still seems awkwardly placed to me. Um... Well, let's play h3 and just see where that bishop is going. What is his plan? I mean, that knight doesn't have many, many squares to go to. He just seems short of squares over here on the queen side. And let's see. If I go g4 and he goes bishop e4, knight takes, pawn takes, hitting my knight, and uh, the a pawn is hanging, so actually we'll have to play a3 before I can play g4. But if I had a3 and g4, then uh, then I move the knight and maybe I go after, go after the weak pawn on e4, and he still got the weak pawn on c3. So he just goes there. Okay, well that's a trade, and um, that's fine, I think. Don't want to let him take, I guess. Now let's play um, 
a3 here so I can move my knight and um, and I'll think about where to move the knight to Ah, and he wants Serving to trade. Um, that's all right, isn't it? I'll take with a pawn. That'll kind of shore up my center and open the f-file if he trades. Um, I could play bishop to d. Bishop to d3, offering a trade of the light squared bishops. The point is that I could have the square e2 for my knight. Bring that over to the king side. Open up the c file here. I'm just going to take back with the pawn over here. Okay, so there we go. So now he probably has to take because I'm threatening to uh, win a pawn. We could retreat. But, you know, bishop takes, pawn takes, rook takes. Looks, looks like it just wins a pawn. The knight can come to e2 and f4. And it puts pressure on the uh, c pawn. And also the uh, e pawn if, if his f pawn ever comes forward to try and undermine my center so yeah he's thinking about this one what to do he can defend the bishop with g3 that might be g6 might be interesting Hmm. <clears throat> Plays pawn to f6 directly. Knight takes. Pawn takes. I mean, bishop takes, pawn takes, rook takes. Takes here, I trade. Yeah, I, I, I don't think that was, don't think that was working. So, he decided to just trade. And now, I do have a couple ideas. One is, uh, Okay, so he's come out on the queen side. Maybe it's preparatory to playing f6. And um, we're piling up pressure on my e-pawn. Let's bring the knight over like I was planning and threaten, threaten to take on c6. So that should be a tempo move. He plays uh, f6, I can take, he'll take with a knight, I guess, and I can take on c6. So I think he has to do something about c6 first. He can play c5, yeah. So what to do here? Queen b4 looks tempting, but it leaves the... Um, Queen b4 leaves the... Um, E pawn hanging. B5 rather, hitting his knight. Hmm. Okay. Just going knight to um, F4 here is a possibility. Pawn to E4 seems possible. Pawn takes, pawn takes, knight takes. I don't like that one. I want to be able to take back here with a pawn and hold on to uh, <clears throat> hold on to e5 for the moment. I wonder if lifting the rook is an idea. The uh, exchange here opens up this diagonal towards my rook, but the knight is defending the rook at the moment, so I did I did notice that. I was exposing this. If his knight moves, then I am threatening to take on c5, but his knight is defending it adequately at the moment. 
you could push on to C4, which would, um, <clears throat> that would kind of, uh, well, it would solidify the center. Give him some potential maybe for the end game with the further pawn pushes. My queen could drop back to c2, or I could drop back to d2. c2 I guess I like a little better, now that the rook is defending the uh, e-pawn. And, well, I don't know, maybe queen d2, rook, um, rook g3. Chase the queen off of this diagonal and threaten to take on um, h6 if I push the pawn forward. That might be an idea. Okay, Norwegian knight, what you coming up with here? Ah, so immediately uh, launching forward with the f-pawn. So I think I need to take right away. He takes with the knight. Well, if he takes with a knight, then he's losing the c-pawn. He, maybe he can throw in c4, or he can take with the rook. So if he takes with the rook, I can double on the f-file. I can go for rook g3. Ask the queen where it's going. Where is the queen going? It doesn't have a whole lot of squares. It's not going anywhere on this diagonal or this uh, file. It can come to h4, or this rank. It can come to um, f. Mm, well, if it comes to f5, I might trade. I can't play the rook to f1 because queen takes. <laughs> but maybe I can trade. Or here. Or, or h, h4 and h5 are available or f5. So he goes there. From that square I can play knight to um, knight to f5 hitting the queen. Knight to f4 hits the queen. Leaves my rook a little bit loose, but uh, well, the rook can move to um, <clears throat> the rook can go to g4, defended by the pawn, if the queen attacks it. So I think um, queen h4 loses to a queen trap, which means he can go back to f7 or come out to uh, f, and he goes back to f7. Yeah, that's not bad. Oh, I can play rook f8. My queen is guarding the f8 square. Okay, so he defended on um, he defended on e3 if I take here this is still defended by the knight um, I can now play queen to b5 hitting and it doesn't really threaten anything does it the knight's defended Maybe it threatens to invade to um, c6. And it keeps the knight tied down. He might uh, just bring his rook over a triple on the f file and then try and chase the knight away with uh, the pawn move. Okay, so he goes for the uh, pawn. Oh, and my knight is um, not sufficiently defended, is it? Well, that's too bad. Uh, let's see, I can attack his knight. And I probably should do something like that. Things are going to get sticky otherwise. Takes the pawn, I take the knight hitting his queen. Queen can't go too many places. 
but it could go to D. It could go there. Okay, so he just defended the knight. <clears throat> Let's see. Do I have something else here? Knight here, knight here. They all um, look troublesome. And the knight can come in to um, g6. And I can threaten knight to um, e5, I guess. Knight takes knight, rook takes queen, knight takes rook. So that's like Rook and knight for the queen, plus he has pawns. That's probably playable for him as well. He can throw in rook here, check. Or maybe he can just take the knight. Takes queen, takes, and then I take his knight. He's got an extra pawn in that line. I have these pawns over here, though. It's complicated. Oh, he just takes the pawn. Okay, so um, here, then. That was my idea. He does have the check with the rook still. No, queen takes. Rook check, queen takes. I keep forgetting the queen is guarding that f1 square. Okay, there's three pieces attacking this knight. The moves, I get the queen. The queen moves instead. Now threatening the back rank. Um... So, well, let's take care. If he takes my knight, I will take his rook with check. So he has to go that way. So I guess I need to take with the knight. And then, um, you know, maybe he has a win with the extra pawn. He's got like three pawns for the piece, two pawns for the piece, but they're advanced. They're very advanced. So he's got a queen check, king here, and push the pawn. And what do I do about that? I wonder if I can just mate, mate him on the back rank. <laughs> um, the knight takes rook is threatened. So queen check, king here. Yeah, he moves the knight first. So my uh, knight is defended by the queen. So let's go here. Okay, what's the time? Minute, half to a half a minute. Check. Yeah, he gets the check. But I didn't see a second check. Maybe just putting the rook in the back rank he is sufficient. Okay, he attacks the uh, he attacks the rook. Let's um, oh, if I come back and defend the rook, I lose the knight. So let's um, drop the rook to the back rank. Let's eliminate some of those back rank threats. So he can check again here. I can drop Check. my king back. Okay, a minute and a half to 10 seconds. So he comes in with the queen. I guess I should just defend. And then I can start maneuvering my knight. Open up a diagonal for my queen to get to the his back rank. Ah, so he stops me from maneuvering the knight here. I can go here with the knight and I can still still open up this diagonal. Start harassing his uh, king. So going there, going after the pin, trying to take advantage of the pin. He can sack the rook here. Let's see, I can deliver this check. Check. And uh, he's uh, managing to move just in time. Let's see, let's try and uh, 
for some exchanges here. Black forfeits on time. Okay, well, that was a good game. I will uh, upload this and do a postmortem. See you guys later. Bye.